Where do the Y's? Make sure you label all of your food. Hi you guys, it is Tuesday, May 10th. And I saw my surgeon today, and unfortunately, the splint did not come out, but I got some wires taken out from my bottom front tooth. My tooth was shifting, and I told him that, so they took some wi the wires off that were attaching the arch bars to my front tooth, so that hopefully my tooth can just bounce back. My front teeth are apparently really loose and wiggly right now and so that's why they're just going anywhere they want to. So hopefully this will fix that and they'll start going in the splint and working again. Since I took them out I've had less pain when biting in the splint because there's less resistance on the teeth I think. So, I don't know if that's good or bad, but he said it's not going to be a problem at all. Um, so, not going to worry. And unfortunately, I've been informed that by my birthday next week, I will still not be able to eat cake. Just fine. Totally fine, um, I'm not upset at all. The splint probably won't come out for another few weeks. If anything, I'll have to wait the whole six weeks until we know my bones are fused and healed. And that's what my orthodontist wants. So I'll most likely just go along with that. Multiple times today I have felt kind of lightheaded and not very good um I'm probably lacking some nutrients obviously <laughs> um but yeah I'm not feeling amazing another thing is that today was the first day in the past two weeks that I haven't gone on a walk so that could be something I don't know. I'll go walking tomorrow and see if I'm doing better after that. But yeah, right now I'm just, I feel like something's not right. And yeah, I feel like I'm missing something. But I've had a lot of protein today. I even blended up some spaghetti, which is so weird. <laughs> but it tasted like spaghetti, so. It was good, actually. I put some Parmesan powder, Parmesan cheese in it. It's great. After I went to my appointment today, and I came home, everything in my mouth, well, all of my mouth was super loose, and so I had like a great big smile, and it was so beautiful and perfect and amazing to see. And I probably won't be replicating that for a while now. It's okay. I'm able to smile with my mouth shut. My motion's pretty good. Oh, look at that. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, this is what 15 days post-op looks like for me. I'll do a better video. just drove for the first time since surgery. I don't know, it was probably between a 20 and 30 minute drive total. And I will say God was very good to me on that drive. I drank water the entire time. This was full. I normally I'm an anxious drinker, 
And clearly things have not changed. I brought my essentials with me, which were my water and Q-tips, which I didn't use. And obviously, legends and stuff. Yes, two weeks post-shop slash 16 days, you are capable of driving. Just, you might not be super confident, confident. But I mean, all it takes is one go and then your confidence will boost after that. So my last update for today is that the splint is officially uneven in my mouth and when I bite into it, I hear all kinds of cracking and popping, not from me, but from the splint. When your palate is expanded, well, like they surgically expanded my top palate, the splint is used to then keep it there. Otherwise, it'll start trying to close again. So the, my top teeth have the splint on them but they're still trying to close, but they can't. But that causes the splint to curve because of the pulling. And so that's definitely taking effect. And so when I have the curved splint kind of, instead of flat, up a little bit, and then you try to bite with your bottom teeth into that, it then needs to readjust and unbend so that your teeth can all fit into it. It's not pleasant, but I keep finding myself doing it because I've gotten used to Invisalign, but you're supposed to keep chewing down on it to make sure it fits. And so since I know this isn't fitting exactly right, I keep subconsciously biting down to make it fit and it's driving me crazy. Hey you guys, it is Thursday, May 12th, and I am getting ready for bed, but I figured while I'm here, I could talk about something I have discovered. Lately, I've been feeling like I'm missing something of nutritional value, and it's been driving me crazy that I can't figure out what it is or anything, and my mom helped me come to the conclusion that I'm missing carbs and that a lot of people like when they're trying to lose weight and they just completely cut out carbs, they go crazy. And that's, I think, what I was going through. I was going crazy. And I had, a, I had had a protein shake 30 minutes prior and my protein shakes have 30 gram, grams of protein and one gram of sugar. I guess that's not enough of a ratio though when you're trying to cover carbs and protein. But because of that shake, I wasn't hungry. So I was like, no, like, I don't need carbs. Like, I'm full, but I feel like I'm missing something. And a few minutes later, I was like, you know what? I, like, changed my mind. I changed my stomach's mind. Ice cream with hot fudge on top sounds amazing right now. So I got some ice cream and melted it a little bit, heated up some hot fudge, and I downed that thing. I was eating faster than I have ever eaten before. I'm a naturally slow eater, and 
surgery has not helped with that, but man, I was shoveling it down. Pain? What's pain? Pain did not exist in that moment. Restrictions with the rubber bands? Oh no, that did not exist in that moment. All that existed was that soupy ice cream with chunks of hot fudge. It's 10 p.m. right now. Um, but two hours ago, I was like, whew, I need to go to bed. I really need to go to bed. And it's like right at eight o'clock, I lose all my energy. But at eight o'clock, I was losing all my energy. I had to do some chores. And then I was shoveling down that ice cream. As soon as I was done eating that ice cream, I felt so much better. <laughs> I felt like at peace a little bit. That was nice. Yep. I walked um, just over a mile today. I didn't nap, I haven't taken any painkiller. I'm gonna see if I can go the night without any painkiller. Um, I don't think it's ever done anything anyway. So I'll update on that tomorrow. How my night goes. Nights are not fun. I'm just trying to get comfortable. Oh, that's a bug. Just trying to get comfortable before bed is so annoying and it's such a hassle and it's so frustrating. But it's just you gotta survive. Just gotta make it. <gasps> Showering has gotten so much easier. Tilting my head back is so much easier. Um, but today, when I took a shower, I had my hair on the side. I was uh, detangling it, and I went to go reach to detangle, and I hit right there, which is literally exactly right where they cut the bone and where there's plates and screws. Like, obviously, you don't, you can't see. So I was in the shower. I'm just detangling. I just went, boom. It did hurt. It did. Um, it was not fun, so be careful. <laughs> but I've, I'm able now when I'm, like, just chilling on the couch or just relaxing in bed, I can lay on my face. I try to avoid where they did work, so I'm like kind of there, but still like this area will kind of rest and it doesn't bother me. All right, I'm gonna go to bed and take some pictures and get back to you tomorrow. Where does the wise make sure you label all of your food? all of the little food that you have. If you live with family, label it. Otherwise, you're gonna end up having no food. Nobody's gonna care. So, little context. Um, I had already cried earlier this day. I took the liberty of deleting that clip so that will not be shown on the internet but i was already in a fragile mental state this day and when i saw that some of my food had been eaten it just <laughs> really put me through it so you will be okay you will get the food you need just this is a cautionary tale hey you guys i'm here with my little puppy and uh, what day even is it? We're almost at three weeks. Uh, it's Saturday the 14th. Two days away from the three week mark. Lots of breakdowns today, you guys. Um, Love that for me. I realized my rubber bands weren't even, so I fixed that. My surgeon gave me permission to mess with them, so I did. Update on how things are healing 
in my mouth with when it comes to stitches and stuff as far as i can see all of my bottom stitches are healed and gone and they've left without a trace i don't see any scarring i can't tell where any of the stitches ever were because the skin well I guess the skin has healed everything up. I have a giant mass of cheek tissue. It was worse yesterday, but basically with a combination of brushing my teeth and jamming it into my cheek and then biting on my cheek, my cheek on the inside and this one little spot has swollen it's just this big chunk of cheek it's just a mass um but it's getting better <laughs> it's going away the stitches with the top i cannot see anywhere except right here in the front i still have stitches there so Things are a lot slower up there. That's where they did the most work. Um, there are a lot of things that need to heal up there. So it makes sense that it's a lot slower healing there. Um, yeah, it's very sensitive to like lift up my lip or move my cheeks to see up there. Because the skin hasn't healed yet since it's working on healing everything else here's my smile right here right now it makes me so happy hey you guys uh oops. um so i took my rubber bands out oh that's like a weird muscle going on there um i took my rubber bands out because one of them snapped and the other one was about to snap so I've been talking so much today. And my sister told me it's totally fine if I want to take them out, brush my teeth, and then put them back on. With the one that snapped, it didn't hurt. I heard a pop of the rubber band. And leading up to it, I kept hearing little bits of popping of the rubber band. Um, but it didn't hurt. Although it stings right now. Well, um, you would not believe all the work I just went through to try to put those rubber bands back in. Next time I'll film it. But I was unsuccessful. I already have an appointment to go see my surgeon in two days. Um, but I'll text him tomorrow. Let him know, hey, I couldn't get my rubber bands back in. And we'll see if he says, it's okay to wait till Tuesday or if I'll need to go in tomorrow. Um, I like seeing my teeth though. Well, as much as I can. I'm not worried about not sleeping with my rubber bands in. It's only one night and any problems that happen now can be fixed with Invisalign later. So I'm not distraught or anything i think it's gonna all be okay hey you guys it is tuesday may 17th i am officially 18 and for those of you who also could possibly get surgery over your birthday pudding is gonna be your new dessert okay no cake pudding yes just now i was looking at my teeth and they are like in between every tooth, there's every tooth, there's a bunch of junk, and I can't get it out. So I'm gonna see if I can flush my bottom teeth. I know I should be able to do a little bit. Let me get my mirror. But pro tip, um, what I did with, with my pudding was completely crushed up Oreos and made like a dirt cup, so I could still taste Oreos and I could swallow it with the puddings and obviously not too because it was 
fine and it was so good. Okay, we're gonna try flashing. I have my mirror here. Let's do this. I can barely open my mouth enough to fit the flash in. Yeah, I can just stick it between my teeth a little bit. By the way, um, update. I went to see my surgeon today for our three week post-op appointment. And you know how my rubber bands came off two days ago? He said it was fine to wait until our appointment today to put new ones on. He decided that I didn't need new ones on at all. Which is so nice, such a relief. So we got no rubber bands. It feels good. I feel a lot more comfortable with the splint now because I'm not constantly being nearly forced to bite into it so it's not as much as a bother as i feel like i fit more comfortably occasionally i question are my teeth in the splint correctly it's kind of weird because i can't really feel anymore but i know that there's only one way for my jaw to move like i can't hardly move my mouth my bottom jaw side to side to make my teeth fit in the splint incorrectly. But sometimes I question, are they in there right? But during my appointment, he kept checking and he was like, they're good. Yeah, I'll we'll just keep you out of them. But I'm doing so good. Um, I can open my mouth just over a finger. So it used to only be this way. Now I can do it this way. And now I'm gonna do it just over that. It's literally probably like a centimeter and a half. No, probably just a single centimeter more than my finger being just this way. But it makes such a huge difference with eating with a spoon. Today was good. Today was good.